Hey everybody, Daniel Victor here with Resibox, and today we're going to talk about flasks. I love a good hip flask, and this one is from Resibox's Christopher Box. Yes! They make great gifts, decor, and of course a handy asset on a night out. But in order to understand truly what the hip flask is all about, we got to dive into the history. You see, in the 1920s, prohibition was in full swing. The popularity of the flask surged as men and women looked for an easy way to sneak a sip of the good stuff. The shape of the flask made it easy to hide under their clothes, meaning they could drink, share, and sell alcohol with a low chance of being caught by the police. Now, prohibition has long since gone, but the flask has remained popular. Why? If we can all buy drinks at a bar, why do people still carry these things around? Well, the first, convenience. Let's say you go to a friend's house and you love their taste in decor, but you're not so much a fan of their taste in liquor. You could either bring your own bottle and spend your whole night crossing your fingers that no one else has their eye on it, or you can pour your favorite drink in a flask for yourself and politely sip your drink of choice for the evening. A flask is definitely the more gentlemanly choice in this instance. You need a, another example? What about happy hour at the office? You'll be the life of the party if you have a flask ready to go. Just use the sparkling water or soda already in the office fridge and you can make cocktails for all of your coworkers after you've finished all of your assignments for the day, of course. So, the flask may get some flack about all the illegal activity of the Prohibition era, but as a dapper man, you always know how to use good judgment and stay classy. Fill up your flask, you've earned it. For now, I'm Daniel Victor with Presbox, and we will see you next time.